to the Global Rugby Challenge Championship. The subscriber sides prepared for season six, but just when they thought the season was over, a new challenger has thrown down the gauntlet. A team comprised of rugby's world elite and with the lightning bolt as their standard, they call themselves the Bolters. Their goal, to defeat the best players the subscribers have to offer. The subscribers, unfazed by this challenge, put together a team of all-stars for an epic, no-holds-barred showdown to determine the best team in the GRC. The All-Stars, the Bolters, challenge accepted now. The best of the best going head to head for one last time as the GRC All-Stars accept their final challenge from the Bolters, the best of the rest as they may be called. This is it, the last chance to impress for season number five before we look forward to the resumption of another season. Season six is in the works, but enjoy this from the All-Stars against the Bolters. What is going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well and welcome back along to the final match from season five in the GRC. It is the All-Stars consisting of players from the champion Guardians. Of course, the runner-up, All Flags, and the semi-finalists, the Flakers, going head-to-head -head with the best of the best from the rest of the world. I'm talking clubs like La Rochelle. I'm talking like Saracens. I'm talking about the Chiefs, the Crusaders, from Sale, from Munster, from all of the opposing teams, which at best a couple made it to those semi-finals. But today, they join, as do the subscriber sites, to make one fantastic team each to have one last battle and a little bit of bragging rights and a little bit of supremacy before the start of season number six. So, of course, these sides are all built from a lot of input from the Discord users. So if you want to get involved in that in future, make sure you join up on the Discord channel and have your say about who you think deserves to be involved in all other things regarding rugby, regarding sport, gaming, and of course on the channel here on Discord. So let's get into the action and take a look at the two lineups for tonight's fixture. Starting things off in the number one jersey will be the honorary captain for tonight. Jason Mitchell will lead from the front in the number one jersey with the captain's armband as well. Alongside him will be the All Flakes hooker, Don Davis. And of course, Mitchell knows him very well. Jack Sheps will wear the number three. Moving into the second row, and it is the All Flakes captain, Zandre Lambrex, that will partner up with the leading try scorer of the tournament from the Flakers, Ethan Holton. Keeping things with the Flakers will be the captain of the side, Craig Anderson, very versatile tonight. He starts on the blind side flank, but he's been at eight, he's been in the front row. He has been all over the place throughout the season. And of course, the rest of the back row will consist of the big All Flakes players, Humad Rakleef, who was phenomenal throughout the year. And of course, JC White, the powerhouse number eight, will wind things up at the back. Moving into that back line, there's more from the Guardians with Isaac Vesure wearing the number nine jumper and partnering up with the All Flakes pivot, Hinko Fayard, who again was also very versatile throughout the season, especially right at that very end as well. Into the midfield, he can't go past Archer Godfrey from the Guardians and partnering up with the dangerous and elusive Daryl Gray from the Flakers. On the wings, Yaya Davis, again, another man who spent time in the forwards, in the midfield, on the wings. He's very versatile and he's very, very dangerous. Yaya Davis gets that number 11 jumper. On the right wing will be Jabari Kuroi and winding things up from the All Flakes will be Christian Nord to join the Flaker boy on the right wing. That'll be it for the GRC All-Stars, but for the Bolters, a very strong looking side for them as well. Starting things off from Toulouse will be Cyril Bai, and he'll be in the front row alongside the sale hooker, Luke Cowan Dickey, and from the Chiefs, Aiden Ross. Moving into the second row from the Stormers, Ben Jason Dixon, who was a standout every performance we've seen him in. He'll partner up with the Munster boy, R.G. Snyman, otherwise known as Erg Snyman, in the middle of the pack. 
Moving in to the back row from La Rochelle will be Mathias Haddad, Ben Earl from Saracens, and Lavani Botia also from La Rochelle. We've got the leading AI try scorer, second on the overall table, and Mitchell Drummond from the Crusaders, partnering up in the halves with Owen Farrell, well, currently from the Saracens. Moving into this midfield, it's Alex Luzolski coming in from Saracens, partnering up with Jack Knoll from La Rochelle. On the left wing, another man from La Rochelle and the eighth highest try scorer from the season, Raymond Rule. And on the right from Saracens, we Sean Maitland and wrapping things up with the best goal kicker of the season, Damien McKenzie, of course, from the Chiefs. There's plenty of talent on the bench as well from both of these sides for their names you'll recognise and plenty of depth off the bench as well with Hugo Lambrecht, Shady Streetwalker, Levi Smith on there as well, Sam Fenwick for the second row, Milton Samiu the back row, Connor DeMard for the scrum half, Don Butler in at fly half and Adrian Townsend from the All Flakes will wrap things up for the GRC All-Stars. For the Bolters, Taylor, Williams, Harrison, Segway, Placides, Weber, Libot and Doolin all over the place. Crusaders, Sales, Saracens, Toulouse, Chiefs, Stormers and La Rochelle respectively. That is a very good looking bench for both sides. Maybe we'll need them, maybe we won't, but names certainly deserve to be there and a lot of them pushing for places in their starting lineup as well from their performances throughout Season 5. Both teams lining up in specially made kits tonight. You see there the All-Stars in the beautiful white kit. The Bolters in the purple and yellow as we are underway. Hinko Fayard kicks things off and Ben Earl takes the ball down for the first breakdown. It's the All-Stars on that in a flash. On that rapidly fast and getting a big turnover as well. Rick Lee, little big opportunity now. Daryl White, great ball away. Archer Godfrey going into the corner. Minutes in. Godfrey fans. Godfrey the try. And what a start for the GRC All-Stars. Off the buzzer. What a way to get the game going. One ruck. One big turnover, JC White at the helm, and then Rakhleef threw, Daryl White did brilliantly, and we all know the finishing capabilities of Arsha Godfrey from the Guardians, fending his way past the woeful defense effort from the Chiefs, Damien McKenzie and the Bolters. And the first try is on the board, what a start. What a fiery start by the GRC All-Stars. Hinko Fayard off the tee, adds two more points to the tally and it's seven points to nil very early on. I doubt we're gonna to see too many penalty goals or tactical plays by these sides. They're here to score tries and they're here to score them very, very quickly as well. As we get things back underway, the try scorer finds Anderson nice and smart. Emma Cleef takes the tackle down for sure. Eh? Goes deep to Thayar to kicks his way out of his 22. And McKenzie looking for a bit of reprieve. He hits back towards the All-Stars. And Jabari Kuroi had a bit of a tussle there. Gets the ball away to Ethan Holton. And Anderson nicely away to Thayar who sets one and two back. Nicely to Ethan Holton who gets rid of a couple. Finds Kuroi. Kuroi up a couple of defenders as well. Not really There's Bolton's bodies all over the place. But at a breakdown they get the penalty. And that is quick work. On Jabari Karoy, but boy oh boy, Karoy and Holton are leaving bodies strolling across the field. And unsurprisingly, just like we talked about moments ago. Oh! My goodness me, that is a cracking kick from Owen Farrell. I thought it stayed in, it looked like it went dead in goal, but the assistant referee has said that one is five out. Must have just gone over the flag. Here is the line out. Luke Cowan Dickey goes to the back. Snyman drags it in. Bolters with a great chance to reply here. Drummond. Earl goes short to Farrell. Cuts it back in. And the numbers piling on up there on Cyril Bai as he gets it just a couple of meters short. Waiting for it now as Drummond goes to short side. Gets the other side of Raymond. Roll! Oh, can't get away. To Barry Karoy on that. And Roll goes down agonizingly in pain, clutching his ankle. Raymond Rule's night is done. And that will bring Bryce Doolin onto the paddock to replace him in the number 23. Well, a big moment there for the Bolters. They really had to get something Crouch. out of that. But the All-Stars defense was on the money. Set. And they keep the Bolters out for now. 
Feared by Drummond. Bottia waits to the back, leaves for Drummond. Holds it up, goes back around the short side to Bottia! Oh, that is special! And big Levani Bottia trundles down the sideline. And the first try for the Bolters is on the board. And a deceptive little play from Mitch Drummond. Leaves everyone looking at their opponent, wondering how that went so wrong. Numbers standing up from the side of the scrum. You see Craig Anderson looking up going, how did that happen? It's straight off the back of the scrum. Botia, dangerous, strong, fast. He's got all the attributes. He's got the bolters back in this game. It's still points to five and Farrell into the sunlight or into the lights of the stadium. No sunlight here, it's nighttime. And the conversion is good at seven points apiece. Owen Farrell nails it off the tee. Of course, big man for the Saracens in this GRC season. Took them all the way to those semi-finals as we get things back underway through Farrell himself and finds numbers in support. Kicking away, Cyril Bly. Going out to Lazowski. Oh, this could be a big turnover here. Big play. Turnover. All stars. Ships. Oh, and a Karoy. Looking on the outside. Passes back inside the JC wide. Going to the line. Short pass. Daryl Gray. Bang, bang. Flair it twice. The All Stars make it look easy. Daryl Gray scores. He has been at his elusive best this season. One of the best and fifth. Highest line breaker and try scorer, Jabari Karoy. Great little inside ball to the powerhouse of JC White, who drops the ball off in the tackle of McKenzie. And a simple two meter scamper, Daryl Gray the try. So back into the lead go the All Stars. And a chance to increase that lead back to seven. Off the tee and off the boots of Henko Fire. It is flawlessly done. It's 14 points to seven. And we are seeing both sides throw everything into their attacks as after 24 minutes, we've got 21 total points on the board. As the kickoff finds Davis, who goes through two and twirls out of a third and goes to ground just inside his own half. Waits for Fasure back to Fire. Good exit here from. The All-Stars, down to McKenzie, who looks like he's going to run this one back. Yes, he finds a dart, does nicely. An inside ball, looking for the hard runs here, and very dangerous with Snyman back to Luke Callan. Dickey gets over halfway. Ross with a big pass to Ben Earl, and inside ball to Snyman, who bundles past the couple. Bolters looking in good retention form here, keeping the ball nicely. Haddad in the forwards, not leaving this... 10 metre channel on the right hand side of touch. Another run for Release. Callum Dickey. The All Stars try to get involved. Drummond has to go himself. He's absolutely smoked there. Big tackle from Archer Godfrey. It's Botia. Oh, he's dangerous. Botia drops off to Maitland. Numbers there for Maitland to go. Hadan. He goes, looks inside. He's trying to forward pass. Well, they were all there for Matthias Hadan. Crouch. Bind. Very, very disappointing finish to. What was a very Shit. promising play from the Bolters there. For sure a feed to the scrum off the forward pass. And players all go to position on the right. As Thayat looks back to Godfrey, turns it back nicely to a hard run, a very hard run as well from Ethan Holton. Now Godfrey looks out wide and karoy has got more room to rumble. Karoy just about gets away. But Bryce Doolin makes the ankle tap. Here's Godfrey away to Shets. Turns it back to Holton. Oh, what an inside ball is Andre Lambrex. Oh, puts it up for Archie Godfrey. There's the wheels. There's the pace. And there is the third try. Archie Godfrey lines it up and knocks him down. What a bust, though. Down the right. All the big boys involved. And the finisher of Godfrey makes it happen. Well, he started it off. Good ball to Shets. Turned it back to Ethan Holton. The leading try scorer from this season. And in the link up play of Sandre Lambrex in the middle, and McKenzie tries he may. Could not get close. And Archer Godfrey grabs himself. Try number three for the All Stars. 
Beautiful kits, these all-star kits. Representation of the Guardians on the top of the peak of the hill. Of course, the Flakers and the All Flakes to the sides. The gold of the elite. As the scoreline reads, 21 points to seven. It is the GRC All-Stars in control over the Bolters. Back to kick off it goes as halftime rings. They'll be wise here, the All-Stars, just to get this one out. A nice act for Shurei. Uh, misses about with no chance of that going on. Smokes it into touch. And we are done for the opening 40 minutes of this big All-Stars clash. The GRC All-Stars up 21 points to seven over the Bolters in a very, very exciting first half of rugby. We've had tries and tries galore. Both sides throwing caution to the wind. You can see by the stats here, this is the Bolters that have the better of the stats, but it's the All-Stars have the better of the scoreboard in the day. That's the way you want it, as these two teams are giving everything they have got. Owen Farrell and these very striking Bolters kits will get the game back underway. High kick to the left and Advantage. oh, knocked on straight off the buzzer there from Daryl Gray. And it looks like he should wrap that one up with a nice pretty bow and give it straight to the Bolters because this is a great chance to start their second half with a flurry. Well, it didn't look like you really wanted it there, Daryl Gray. Find. Had the hands up late. Not in a real Set. position to take the ball. It just kind of rebounded off his hands rather than his face. It's a great scrum from the Bolters. Here is Farrell taking it straight to the line. Earl will wait and goes back to the short side, turning it back inside nicely to Dixon. And a big run from B. Jason Dixon. Waits for Drummond. And another good run from Mitch Drummond. Gets the Bolters within six metres now. Waiting for it, Botia, Earl, stepping, driving his way, finds Snyman. The forward's doing a lot of hard work here. Drummond having another go. Oh, it looks like the All-Stars though, maybe on top of this one. Sheps in there quickly, Anderson in tow. They go deep to Nord, he gets a kick away just in the nick of time. Deep, almost a halfway. McKenzie finding support of Farrell. And the Bolters have to start all over again. Drummond takes it up and takes it on and takes a big hit. As the defence converges nicely again, the All-Stars do well! Another big turnover! They're starting to own this part of the match as Karoi gets the backfield for the second time in quick succession. For sure, eh? Picks it up himself. Now the Bolters are the one who are taking over the breakdown, but the late struggle there from the All-Stars gets back on their side. J.C. White offloads to Davis, does nicely. Turnover! Hidad! All over that ball! Doolin back! To Botia. Doolin's way offside there. He's followed the ball far too far as Luzowski gets his kick away. Down to Nord. And, oh, it's a delicate half past the charge kick there from Nord finding Botia and the danger from Steinman away to Haddad. Down the left hand wing, Haddad looking inside but can't get away. Nord equal to the task. Rakleef is on him like a flash. This could be another turnover for the All Stars. They've got the ball for sure. Eh? Back to Godfrey, who calms it all down with a plummeting kick into touch. And that was a topsy-turvy, tit-for-tat little passage of play by these two sides. Neither side giving an inch, really, as Cowan Dickey will throw. And Dixon at the front is the target, and he nails it down. Drummond goes short side, Doolin cuts it back in. Haddad is at a lot of carries. This could be a turnover though. Quickly on the ball. The All-Stars, how did they not get that one? They might still, no, it's coming back. Oh, Drummond's got it. Boy, the Rocks are becoming a real fierce battle now. And some great work through the midfield there of Jack Noel. Getting it out wide, Sean Mayland. Oh, what a ball. Mayland to the down. And there's a man that deserves a try. Matthias Haddad scores. But that was all beautiful play from Sean Mayland. How about this? Swiftly through the backs. Dixon, Lazowski cuts out Noel. Out to Sean Maitland. And watch this little delicate play. Oh, that is special. Special, beautiful, and simply outstanding skills from Sean Maitland. And the Bolters, not to be done yet.
Owen Farrell will cut this back to just seven points of this conversion, which he nails. Flawless as ever. The Walters fight their way back. The GRC All-Stars lead by just seven. Much work to be done here. Of course, we understand this is just a festival matchup. There's no permutations to this game whatsoever as Old Farrell cuts through a couple of tackles. So last thing we want to see here is a draw by these two sides with less than 15 to go as Lazowski through once more. Takes down eventually. Waiting for Drummond, there's room around the breakdown here and straight through, they go! And straight through for the try goes David McKenzie! Well, we don't want to draw, but we are heading right that way as McKenzie goes under the sticks. And the Bolters control this one level with 10 to play. Well, they were never really in this game. They started off well, fought back nicely, but boy, oh boy, that pass. Short to McKenzie was an absolute stunner. Isaac for sure, eight caught wrong footed. The defense caught out of position. And a stunning play from the Chiefs. Versatile player. Fly half slash full back tonight. He's in the 15 jumper. And it's coming to tell very well for the Bolters who tie it all up. At 21 points apiece, we've got 11 minutes to play. May have shot that one off by one minute or so. Hinko Fire gets us back underway. Now we tick over the 10 minute mark. Hedard takes the hit and oh, Rakleef is over him like an oily rag. There's got to be a turnover for the All-Stars. There is! For sure, eh? There's a drop goal! Drop goal on 10 from Fire. Oh, it's at the post! Picked up by Karai! Karai the offload! Down Gray the try! Down Gray scores! And the All-Stars find their way back into the lead! Oh, wow! What a try! Hinko Fayard went for the drop goal! Straight off the ball from the rack. Hit it nicely. It was high enough. It hit the right hand upright. Karoy took it in. Big Doolin offloaded past McKenzie and perfectly found Daryl Gray, who finished nicely. Wow, what a try. The go ahead try for the All Stars. And with this conversion here, with six, seven minutes still to play, Fayards nails it over. And we are in for one heck of a flurry to finish this one. We have got six and a half minutes. It'll be only six by the time Farrell gets this kick off. There it is, 28-21. They've got to keep hold of the ball here, the All-Stars. If they can do that for five minutes, they'll get the job done. Well, they're not going to do it. They've looked for touch. And it's out on the fall! Fayard's gone out in the fall! And that is a huge error! Massive error by the All-Stars fly half! And a massive opportunity here for the Bolters to tie it all back up with just minutes remaining. Oh, it's stolen by Holton! Ethan Holton comes to the party! Now Daryl Gray, number two has land, finds Isaac Godfrey! He's still got yeah, and Davis as well! Can't get the ball to him! Just can't get the ball to Davis down the left. And Archer Godfrey goes to the touch with just over a minute to play. Cowan Dickey to throw. Goes to the back. Steinman pulls in. Holds it. No heroics this time. There goes the buzzer. What do they got? They sleep the bolters. A chance to steal it on a death. Here's Bryce Stolen. Shrinks away the tackle from Jabari Karoy. Just short of the 10 minute line, just over 60 to go. Drummond. Driven down with the Bolters, plenty of numbers there. Steinman will have a go. Off flies perfectly. Bryce Stolen up over halfway. Looks to should be between fullback and defender, but can't get away. Ben Arrow picks and goes. Quick play there from Earl. Bots here, lets this one settle. Bye. Back to Earl. Nicely inside from Noel as well. Now Drummond gets the ball back at scrum half. Here is Noel, great drop off there to Haddad, who gets a few good meters. 
Oh, a turnover from Shams, and fire goes for Taj. This will be it. There it is. The GRC All Stars hang on to win by seven. And a real festival game of rugby tries a plenty drama all over the park, but in the end, it was the All Stars that finish with the W. Well, the Bolters played well. Lazowski was outstanding. But the forwards did so much hard work. A lot of ball for Haddad, Earl, and Botia in the back row. But it was the two superstars of the All-Stars, Godfrey and Gray with two tries apiece. And it was Thayat with all four conversions. Animus drop goal for the Bolters, Haddad, Botia. There we go. And McKenzie grabbing a try apiece. And of course, it was Owen Farrell who chipped over with the three conversions. What a performance by these two sides. A look at the stats. Tells you that it was close. It was tight. And the Bolters may be slightly the better team. But all in all, a lot of defensive work from the All-Stars got the job done. 28-21. Four tries to three. A great way to wrap up the GRC season. Number five. And that has been a spectacle of a season as well. That will do it from me today, though, team. Thank you all for tuning and watching. And thank you all for not only watching the season, but all those who took part in the season as well. There is still spaces available if you want to join Season 6. There will be an update video coming up next week to show you all about the players who are involved already and what the teams will be looking like. So check that out if you would like to get involved. And of course, let me know your player as well. And I'll see you all for the start of Season number 6. Until then, a big thanks again for everyone involved, kit makers, players, and viewers. I'll see you all again soon. Until then, take care.